Parce que si vous êtes pris dans le règne de l'ombre, vous êtes foutu. Don't be fooled, Plantain. He's gone. supposed to get my wife, Helen, pregnant when I am dealing with such grief. She'll understand. A woman? Understand? Yeah, sure. I'm the king of England. Non, chérie, je suis pas du tout. C'est la seule seule qui se passe en ce moment. Il s'agit de la seule qui se passe en ce moment. Il s'agit de la seule qui se passe en ce moment. Il s'agit de la seule qui se passe en ce moment. Il s'agit de la seule qui se passe en ce moment. Il s'agit de la seule qui se passe en ce moment. Il s'agit de la seule qui se passe en ce moment. Il s'agit de la seule qui se passe en ce moment.
please flip to side B. in eternity and how if I were a demon I'd want better things to do than easy spooks. But I wonder if we're thinking about them too corporally because any type of eternal living seems like it'd be really whack. Demons potentially live in way more dimensions than us and it's some aspect of them that astral projects and flexes into ours. And so what to us Looks like cheap thrills, immediacy, which looks bad post-marshmallow experiment, is an echo of a multi-dimensional spook drive satisfying itself. Yeah, I agree. And that there's pretty much only one way of relating to our dimension from their perspective, which is through dealing out spooks. You wouldn't want to go to a haunted house and not get scared, even though you know you could try to relate to the ghouls. That's incredibly, That's incredibly true. true. Oh, my God. 